Pre-diabetes is like hiding behind chainsaws. You may think you're safe, but you're really in greater danger than you imagine. You can't feel it, but if left unchecked, pre-diabetes can gradually progress to type 2 diabetes, bringing high risk of heart disease, nerve damage, and other serious health problems. Think of pre-diabetes as your body saying, hey, I'm struggling to keep up. So the important question is, can exercise stop that slide or even reverse it? Well, here's what we know from the research. A 2019 meta-analysis of nine studies found on average, exercise improved glucose tolerance by about 6%, but only 58% of the programs produced meaningful changes. So exercise helps, but just how much wasn't clear. Fast forward to 2023, a large review of 815 people with prediabetes found that aerobic exercise alone three to four times per week significantly lowered fasting glucose, two-hour glucose, A1C, and body mass index. Now that's much better news, but it's important to note the most improvements appeared one year after regular training. Another 2000 2023 review study compared exercise styles, aerobic, resistance, and interval training. Individually, aerobic exercise helped, but resistance and interval training were more effective. Each cut fasting glucose by 6 to 7 milligrams per deciliter. But mixing cardio with strength work increased that gain by nearly 5% more, likely because cardio primarily improves insulin sensitivity, while resistance training boosts glucose uptake and storage. And when you pair that with a diet rich in plants, healthy fats, lean proteins, and low in refined carbs, the results get even better. It's like a triple attack on a villain, so there's no way there's going to be a sequel. Yeah, right. While exercise can't guarantee a full reversal, keeping it up year-round can stop that slow walk towards diabetes before it jumps you. Because when it comes to pre-diabetes, movement really is medicine. Even if it is running away from Freddie, Jason, Michael, Chucky, Killer Tomatoes, as always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.